Listening to Norm Brunet at Ottawa's Pebble Studio, you can't help but notice his distinctive voice. He says he's cultivated his smoky-throated style over countless nights of singing in smoke-filled bars. I once took uh, vocal training for, uh, for, for a few months and realized that it was changing <laughs> my voice completely. And I said, no, 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 no. My trademark is a little raspiness, like a whiskey-throated voice. I want to go back to that. But that was over 10 years ago. The voice has been relatively silent ever since. Ten years ago, Norm Brunet was achieving some national success, singing a brand of urban country that may well have been ahead of its time. After spending 15 years on the road, he gave it up, taking what he calls a 10-year holiday. Uh, some people think it's all glamorous with the tour bus and the trucks and stuff like that, but it's work. It's a lot of work. But the musical bug never truly left him. After a few years, uh, things started getting uh, back in order, and uh, I started writing again, and uh, here we are. Now in his mid-40s, Norm Brunet is on the comeback trail. He's released a new album called Life Goes On, a collection of songs that often deal with the harsher realities of life, from materialism to divorce to homelessness. Brunet says some of it is autobiographical. Uh, I won't say which ones, but <laughs> <laughs> I think every good songwriter has to basically experience some, some of those things in life to be able to put them on, on paper. Brunet is also tapping into his business experience. He's got a promotional team in place and a distribution deal. He says he's in no hurry to resume a hectic life on the road. If the demand is there, I will certainly do it, but this time it'll be done a lot differently than the, than the last time.